Hey everyone, my name is Deepak and if you are working in Slack, then this video is for you because I'm going to show you some of the cool tips and tricks and latest features which will enable you to be more productive while working inside Slack. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more of how to and tips and tricks videos. So let's jump right into the demo. Trick number one, how to hide videos and GIFs. So if you and your coworkers are fond of sending a lot of GIFs and videos, your channel workspace can become overloaded and difficult to read. If that's the case, you can type forward slash collapse in the message window and then just enter and all of your videos and GIFs will be hidden. So you can now just focus on relevant text chats and you can also scroll through them. Also, if you want them back, just type slash expand and press enter. Boom, you will see them back. So trick number two, you can send a direct message to any user, even if you are inside a workspace or a channel. So here I am in a random channel and if I want to message directly from here, instead of searching for that contact, I can just use slash command forward slash message at username and you will be taken direct chat with that user. Of course, they have to be in the same workspace as you. Tip number three, Slack now lets you record video and audio clips and you can share it inside direct message or channel. The catch is you need to be on paid plans. Yes, I know all good things come at a cost and I know, but it does the trick of saving you from unnecessary conference calls. Inside a channel or direct message, click on camera icon on the bottom right. You will see record video clip screen when your camera is selected. You can click on settings and then select camera or microphone of your choice. You can also upload an existing video from your laptop. Now the important tip, you need to select share your screen if you want to record your laptop screen along with your self view. Once you start recording, it would show you the timer on the left. You can do max three minutes recording. You can also start screen recording using screen share option and you can also pause or stop the recording. Once you stop the recording, it will show up in the compose box and you can just hit green send now button to share it inside a channel or with your colleagues. How slick is this? Tip number four, you can now use split view inside Slack. Yes, and split view features lets you open two different parts of Slack side by side. So you don't have to move back and forth between them saving a lot of time. So if you are inside a channel, for example, I have this YouTube content channel open, but now I also want to chat with my colleague Gunjan. So from your desktop, press command if you're on Mac or control if you're on Windows and click the name of the conversation or page in your left sidebar. There you go. You can now view both conversations side by side. And if you would like, click and drag the separator bar in the middle to adjust the conversation to your preferred width. Similar fashion, you can also open sidebar items like mentions and reactions, saved items, files, or apps, and scroll through the window. Tip number five, when you have an important message to share in Slack, but it doesn't need to be sent quite yet, you can schedule it comes in handy in situations where there is a time zone mismatch or you're traveling or you want your message to go at, a, go at a certain time. To do this, open the conversation where you would like to schedule a message, type your message in the message field, click the arrow icon to the right of paper click icon, choose a date and time from the list or select a custom time to set your own. Once done, you will see a notifications inside your channel stating when the message will be sent or you can also open all your scheduled messages by clicking on 
see all scheduled messages. Tip number six, set up reminders for any message or set up a reminder about any task for yourself inside Slack. So there are a couple of different kind of helpful reminders in Slack. If you read a message but you can't address it right away, you can click on three dots icon next to it and select remind me about this and choose a time period from the list or choose a custom time. Also, Slackbot is your best friend when it comes to completing tasks on time, every time. You can go to Slackbot and type in slash remind and the task name. For example, remind me about year end submission on October 31st and it will remind you at that time. Tip number seven is around bookmarks. You can now click add a bookmark and add important website links that you want to share with your channel members. When you add a bookmark in a channel or direct message, you can now add an emoji to display alongside with the bookmark name and make it more fun. You can also rearrange your bookmarks in the conversation header. Tip number eight is if you are having a difficulty in searching for right information inside Slack, you can do search filter a better way. Once you click search bar, you can now select to search in messages, channels, files, or people. If you choose files, then you can narrow down the search by using in or from filter. If you select in and choose the name of the person or channel, then you would get the results and again narrow it down based upon people, date, and type, and file types. Again, saving you a lot of time. So tip number nine is now you can start a live conversation in any channel or direct message with Slack hurdles. Slack hurdles, the new feature, makes it possible to have quick informal conversations with the people you work inside Slack. Any member of a channel or direct message can start a hurdle to kick off a live audio only discussions that anyone in the conversation can join. To start a huddle, select the channel and turn the headphone toggle to the right. That's it. You have started a huddle. Inside a huddle, you can share your screen or invite more people. If you want to learn more on how to use Slack huddles, watch my Slack huddle video. Here is the link. Tip number 10. You can start direct messages with people outside of your company. Yes, now all Slack plans allow you to send direct messages to people outside of your company, providing an easy way to working with your partners. Choose Slack Connect and select Talk One to One. Type email address of the person you want to have conversation with. Once accepted, you can send a direct message and start collaborating with external users. You can manage these requests and approvals from the manage request section inside your Slack. So thank you for watching my video. Please do subscribe, like or comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.